going up? Hey guys, Rob from FLX. Some people have been asking how strong is the belt on the Babymaker Pro. We do use the Carbon Gates belt drive, which is the same belt we use on the Blade 2.0. It's a 1000 watt motor, 1500 watts of peak power. That's two horsepower right there. Just insane amount of force. But we figured we'd take this out and do a little field test for you guys and find out for ourselves how strong the belts are. So I've got a belt here. Let's go have some fun. So behind me, I've got Axel, man in the forklift. He's gonna help out with this. I do have a towel here. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's put the towel on the fork just to reduce any sharp edges. We've got the carbon gates belt drive here. And uh, let's see how much this thing can handle. Axe, let's go. <laughs> All right, let me down. Obviously, my weight was not enough to break this thing. I'm 160 pounds, by the way, so I got my handlebars here and another volunteer here, Ben, who's gonna help out. I'm up. I'm in the air. <laughs> Are you in the air? I'm not in the air. <laughs> oh, no, easy, watch out. <laughs> Ben, how much do you weigh? Two people. I'm a buck 80, so. Buck 80, buck 60, that's 340 pounds? 340. 340. Wow. All right, that thing is strong. It's like being an amusement park operator. I got an idea, guys. I'll be right back. All right, so a little dilemma here. We've got the belt. Uh, you can tell this is a little impromptu. The belt is installed here in the back of the van. However, the fork's gonna drive in this way and that's not straight on. We would need to twist it 90 degrees, which obviously, you know, that's gonna add an extra variable in our test. So to mitigate that, we've got our trusty spank handlebars in here. Turn it 90 degrees, We're gonna drive the fork under here, at least in our brains, that's how it's gonna work. Let's try this out. This is a good idea, guys. Slowly raise. So the belt is under tension. Very high energy system. Axe, you ready? I'm gonna get out of the way. Guys, that is the belt on the baby maker. If you can lift a car, it shouldn't have any issue lifting my fat ass up a hill or anybody else. So enjoy the bikes, guys. Be safe. Uh, don't try this at home, obviously. <laughs> yes, yeah, buddy. That was awesome. So much room for error. The belt, the straps, the van, the forklift, and yet they all came through. That belt's pretty strong to lift the back half of a van. So if you're worried about longevity, maintenance, anything like that, I think we just pretty much put that concern to rest. So pretty stoked to see that. Was not expecting that to work as well as it did. Super stoked that it did. That's just a testament to the Gates Carbon Belt Drive and the products that we put on our bikes. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more tests like this, hit that subscribe button and the bell to see the next video first. And let us know in the comments if you have any questions about bikes or want to see us test them to the max. We'll see you later.
So I've got a belt here. We're just going to inspect it. Obviously, that's a uh, very extreme use, but we're going to check and see what this looks like compared to a normal belt. See what kind of wear this is. This is the belt. As you can tell, that nice little indent there that we use to lift the van up. And this is a brand new belt. Both carbon gates, belts, and see from the length, they're still exactly the same. I'll flip them inside out so we can compare a little bit better. Both belts to me look exactly the same. Personally, if it was my belt, I wouldn't have any qualms using it again for the bike. It is so, so strong. That was just the van. What are we gonna lift next? Let us know.